And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time pedal show. My name is Gabor and today I'm looking at this. The Chorus Dimension D by the good folks at Arturia. And I should mention uh, this video is brought to you by the good folks at Arturia. So they let me have uh, a bunch of their plugins. So there'll be a bunch of videos on their plugins coming very soon. Uh, let me know in the comments below if there's any particular you want, ones you want me to do. I did a video a little while ago, which you can watch here on the three delays you'll actually use. Uh, which I bought those plugins, um, these were given to me. So um, that was sort of a quick overview. And I thought I'd do a quick overview of these three modulation ones, uh, but in all separate videos. So uh, the three modulations you actually use, I think it's called, and this is the Dimension D. Now, we not that long ago, uh, we did a video on this thing, which you can watch there, uh, which is a Dimension C by Boss. And I never quite understood the whole dimension thing but once you actually plug it in and play it you it all of a sudden you go ah that's what it does so i would highly recommend if you watch this use headphones or use good speakers because so, it's it's all about the stereo 3d sort of image that this thing creates so i'll look at it on guitar and i'm going to use this lovely fano on this mg6 uh which is going in to the angle powerball 2 which goes into the two notes torpedo captor, the old captor, not the captor X. And then from there it goes into the two notes torpedo cab. And this has got some Celestian Plus or Celestian Digital um, IRs in it. There's an affiliate link below uh, if you want to help out the show. You don't have to buy this particular, these particular cabinets, but any cabinets, if you click on the link below and buy any cabinets, it helps out the show. So these particular ones, I think I'm using um, two. I'm using the Angle uh, 4x12 XXL Pro cabinet. And I think it's mic'd with a 121 and a 57. It's a high gain setting. And the other one is a 4x10 Greenback cabinet, also mic'd with a 121 and a 57. And I think it's also the high gain. There's like different versions of it. Um, anyway, and clean uh, through this lovely Fano guitar, it sounds like this. Okay, so this, I haven't tried it out myself yet, so this is the default mode. The only thing I did, uh, what I usually do with us Arturia stuff, if you click on the, the logo here, on the name of it, uh, you can go to resize, and it usually comes much smaller. I've resized it 160% because I'm old and blind, and this way I can see much, much better. So this is the, again, let's, let's just play a kind of a nice A chord without, and now let's play a nice A chord with. It just instantly does this thing where it just surrounds you. So in here, it just becomes a surround sound thing. It's just, I really like it. I really like it. So these things were used a lot back in the days on things like vocals, for example, to, so you have backing vocals and you put that on it and it kind of creates this sort of stereo image of the backing vocals and the lead vocals in the middle. So, you know, it just gives that sort of, again, th three dimensional kind of vibe to it. On synthesizers, it was used, it was used in everything. Um, and it's just so cool. Oh, I've got to turn the volume up. So let's quickly look at a bunch of the presets. And by the looks of it, there aren't many presets. So let's, so that was default. Let's go bass embrace. Let's go next. Gentle vocal hug. So that's, oh, well, I should look at these things. So, so you've got the four buttons and I guess zero is off. Yeah, I guess zero is off. Um, the four buttons, each button gives you a higher rate. Okay, hang on, uh, down bottom left. Dimension mode four, as in the original unit mode four, adds more weight to signal mode, sig uh, more wet signal to mode one to three. Ah, okay, so this is the two button thing, but that only works on the four. Yeah, so one to three, you can only have one button in, but then four, you can have to, can you do that? No. So four can't be on its own. Four has to be with another one. And I guess four, four and three, that's the biggest, the biggest sound to So that's that. Then you've got the output level, you've got the power button. 
which you can also do here. Um, uh, I don't know that much about these things. Did it have a second rack unit thingy like this, which was an advanced control thing? Did that actually exist or is that just something dated? I don't know, let me know in the comments below. Uh, so you've got the oscillator shape, you've got default, and then you can have, a, I guess, a sign. Oh yeah, it says it down the bottom again. Sign, triangle, or ramp, sample and hold, and sample and glide. And then you've got dynamic color, which is select subtle variation, select subtle variation behaviors of the internal expander compressor of the original unit. Okay. Uh, and then you've got the width, adjust the stereo width of the signal, which goes past stereo to 100% side boosted and then you've got the mix, wet dry mix, which I guess dries all the way but I mean the magic with this thing, like with the chorus as well is having both the clean signal and or the dry signal and some wet signal because then you get that that's, that gives you the sound okay, let's keep going through the um, glitchy vibe. So that's that sample and hold thing, and it's just sample and hold. It's just a, I think it's kind of like just a random or like some sort of a pre-assigned pattern, but it's it's a square wave, so it oscillates and it's really sort of a jerky, glitchy move. Whereas I guess this one, the sample and glide, is the same thing, but it instead of it being a square wave. It's like a sine wave that goes in between it, so it's a more smooth transition. Uh, it's a glitchy vibe. A guitar strum enhancer. Okay, that's what we need. We need a... And I mean, if you compare that to without... It just makes such a difference. Please listen to this with headphones on, uh, not on the toilet with just a phone. Light doubler, rich pad. Uh, they all kind of smooth guitar. That, that has a nice sound to it, actually, it's slightly different. Uh, uh, let's play some different. That's my favorite so far. I like that smooth guitar and wider bass. So I like, I have to say, I like smooth guitar. So let's start with that. Let's go there and then let's start mucking around with the, with the buttons. So. Okay, let's start off. What does it do when you go past stereo? It's almost like a phasey sounding thing that's happening. Um, I think it probably sounds the best. Um, it sounds best probably on stereo. Let's let's check it on mono. mono but to me I mean the, st the whole point of it is stereo to give it that spread it actually kind of thickens the sound up quite nice in mono compare it with this Sounds cool actually, mono, but I mean, again, the stereo thing just gives a cool three dimensional sound. Okay, 
Uh, let's check out, oh, and mix, that's all the way dry. Did we do that already? And that's all the way wet. It's like a weird flangey, phasey sound on all wet. Uh, let's check out these. So let's go just to one. So it's definitely the strongest. Okay, let's check out the oscillator. So we're on default. Uh, sign. I don't know why it makes you want to play like sort of funky jazzy stuff. So it's got a vion, vion sound to it. Now, does that control the speed? Did we did I do that already? Does that control the speed? So I guess there isn't really a speed per se for the oscillator. It's these buttons kind of create, is it? Yeah, so that does it, and if you go to four. So one to three uh, speeds up the oscillator and then four just makes it more dominant. Um, okay, that's a sample and hold and I listen to this. keep on to play this. Okay, well, to me, I quite like, I don't know, default sounds the best to me. I mean, it depends on the application, of course. Let's try the dynamic color quickly. So it's on smooth. Let's play something different again. Uh, I don't know. It's, uh... Default. If we could play the chord right. Uh, LF sat one. finger on it what it does but there's some subtle changes but um should we quickly look at that let's go back to the preset of smooth guitar should we just quick let's quickly check it uh with a bit of gain this is probably going to turn into the 80s very quickly but this is now the um little crunch channel channel two on the angle Okay, let's send it on. That's becoming very 80s very quickly. Maybe let's bring the mix down a little bit. See, I think with a mix down, it's probably something you won't even really notice in the mix, like in a, in a mix of a song. Again, it just will spread the, the, the width of the guitar, rhythm guitar. See, so 
See, with a mix up, it, it's definitely 80s. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Right. Channel three, though, more high. Gain. come out. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stop now. Um, well, that was just sort of a quick overview of the Chorus Dimension D by Arturia. Um, big thank you to the awesome people at Arturia for um, letting me have a bit of a play with some of the plugins. Uh, there'll be more videos, there'll be video with the phaser as well, and there's a flanger with that as well. Um, those videos will be coming. Let me know if there's anything you want me to do with these in the comments below, um, or a combination of those. Uh, I'll be looking at a bunch of those. So there's the reverbs as well, there's the delays. I think I mentioned that there was a link up there before. Um, yeah, and then I'll do combinations of those. So I think this with a cool reverb, like a big, lush, long reverb, and maybe some delay uh, just would sound awesome for sort of ambient -y stuff, the big stereo image. So anyway, uh, and I think I mentioned that as well, but there might be a shootout coming between this and that soon. Uh, and possibly also we've got some friends who have the actual rack mount version, a shootout between the three or even just a, a rack mount and that. I don't know, we'll see what happens, but uh, let me know in the comments below if you have the actual Roland unit. Uh, or if you have one of these, or if you have the old one of those, or if you have this particular plugin and uh, how you use it, what you use it with, um, comments below. And please, if you like our videos, why not subscribe and hit the notification bell? Uh, that would help us out greatly. So thank you so much to the awesome people at Aturia one more time, and I'll see you next time. Bye.